Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do is going to be a new Will I Buy It. This is my series I post every single Wednesday where I chat with you over all the new makeup releases. I give my thoughts on them. I talk about what I'm interested in picking up and what I am not so interested in buying. I have been talking in my last few videos about how I'm feeling very overwhelmed with new makeup releases. So this video is going to be the first one that I am doing since making the announcement that I'm not buying as much makeup. I'm cutting back. I'm trying to use more of the makeup that I already have in my collection. So this should be an interesting week. Is there anything that's going to turn my eye enough to actually buy? Or am I going to be keeping firm to my not buying so much makeup? This is the true test. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So I always start off with my outfit of the day. It's been a day. Slippers, biker shorts, still in my workout top, but it does inspire. So, you know, that's cute and on brand. Just finished filming a little bit of this makeup look. It's for a video that will be coming soon. I did use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I have a few other older products on my face as well. My last video that went up is all of the oldest makeup in my collection. And we went we went far back. We went far back in that video. So the Soft Glam is featured in there. And a lot of my videos, if they're over like 25, 30 minutes, I like to run them as what's called a premiere, which means uh, we can live chat in the comments as the video goes up. It's not a live video, but at a time for it to go live, we can come, we can chat. And I had so much fun in the chat today. Very much a trip down like YouTube memory lane and seeing all of the older products that you all have in your collection as well. But I showed quite a few eyeshadow palettes and I asked at the end, what would you want to see? And a lot of people said ABH Soft Glam, Sultry, and the Natasha Denona Gold. So I went in with the Soft Glam first. So I do always link anything that I'm wearing down below. I link any of the makeup that I'm talking about down below, the accounts that I'm reading from. But I've done a Project Pan video recently, also a Try to Get Ready With Me where I open up a little bit more about feeling very overwhelmed and over consumed by makeup at the moment uh, and then I do have the oldest makeup in my collection and video so that's kind of the direction that I feel like I'm going right now and I've been doing my ranking series I have a few other fun videos coming up with kind of the concept of just playing with old makeup using up what's already in my collection I know I was getting some questions of will I still be doing the will I bite video and I am still planning to make these every Wednesday I I'm the creator of the Will I Buy It series. I started it back in 2016, I believe it was. So I've been doing this for a very long time and very consistently for a long time. And I have done this through some very difficult times when my ex-husband was laid off and we weren't even sure how we were like paying our bills or our mortgage. I still did the Will I Buy It every single week. Um, I just kind of gave that that preface of, hey, I'm probably not gonna be buying a lot, but we can still talk about the new makeup. We can still have fun with the new releases. We can see maybe what's releasing that I think is similar in my collection and that sort of thing. So that's gonna be kind of the the direction that these videos are going, but I am still planning to post these every single Wednesday. All right, with that said, I am going to slide over so I can add in some photos. I feel like the last couple of weeks have been a little bit on the slower side usually this is when we kind of get into that sort of lull which is great like especially for me right now how i'm feeling like that's that's great uh but we already have some holiday to talk about and then once we start getting into the holiday releases then it just gets like super crazy so i'm trying to take this time to relax a little bit because usually come october that's when busy season starts to ramp up not only for youtube i own my own business um, and then towards the end of the year, it just gets crazy. We do vlogmas. There's always a lot going on. I mentioned holiday, so maybe let's just, we'll just start off with the holiday release because that's just wild to me. I understand that's how it works, but I also have to say, I am not super surprised to see that it was NARS. I would have thought either NARS, Too Faced, or Tarte would have put out their holiday collections first, like put out like the sneak peek to their holiday collections. What brands do you think? Tarte, what did I say? Tarte, Too Faced, NARS. Those are my three. Maybe like benefit from NARS. We got for holiday 2022, we have the Stargaze eyeshadow palette, the Rising Star Cheek palette, the Starstruck Audacious uh, lipstick, I believe that is, a lipstick and thrust, a light reflecting loose setting powder. Okay, and like one of them looks like a little ornament we got going on. Okay, right now I just see coming soon. You know, it's, it's, it's August. It's not even mid-August. It's just, it's just August still. You know, for the holiday releases, we get into a little bit of a tricky time. I'm someone who is so, so big on, even in my videos, reminding us that the online beauty community is just a very 
small part of the actual beauty industry and the consumers and who is buying the makeup. I say this in so many of my videos, but I think holiday time is really where it shows too because a lot of us online were like, that's so boring. They come out with that every single year. But there's also like probably a reason brands come out with that kind of stuff every year because a lot of times that is when consumers truly are buying like their makeup for the year or buying their daughter makeup for the year or like my aunts used to buy me this stuff for holiday time and I'd be so excited about it. Um, this is a time of year, but like before I was on YouTube and very beginning stages of YouTube, this is when I would buy my makeup as well and usually you can get it for a little bit of a discount or you can get like the benefit box with all the other little products in it and then you can like save a little bit of money that way and feel cool. So for me, a lot of times holiday releases are not going to turn my eye. Again, I, I was looking at this and I was kind of like glancing at my collection. I don't know if I found anything that I'd say was like exactly dupable of this, but would it be unique enough to my collection? No, a blush palette, um, a six pan blush palette, just something like that. I'm not super into, I like something that's gonna be a little bit smaller or really just a single blush. Um, the NARS lipsticks are nice. I actually do not like the powder. I, I would not recommend the powder, to be quite honest with you. I did not like the way that sat on my skin, which is dry. Um, so no, like I like the stars. That makes it like a little fancy, you know, but oh, no, I'm gonna skip that. And then I see another collection coming out. This is from Huda Beauty. We have the Love Fest Huda Beauty by, I can never say this correctly, Kayali? Kayali, I think it's Kayali. Includes the Love Fest Obsessions palette for twenty nine dollars. There's the Love Fest Love, Whoa. the Love Fest cream blush is thirty nine dollars. We have the Love Fest Tear and Share lip quad for thirty three. There's the Love Fest Legit Lashes 2-in-1 Mascara is $29. There's an eyeliner for $19. There is also a new scent coming out. This one in Burning Cherry, and there's a few different sizes. And this is all going to be available August 9th on the website and retailers. Okay, so the Kayali is the like fragrance company under Huda Beauty, I believe that is. So, I don't, you know, I'm looking at the eyeshadow palette, and once again, I was... I was trying to glance because I was thinking for this video if I find anything that I think is like super similar I could maybe like show the similarities in this video but I just couldn't find anything that I thought was like spot on if you think of anything you know it could just be something that I don't have in my collection but if you think of anything that you think that this is similar to you know let us know in the comment section because I would be curious about that but it could be just the way that I'm feeling very overwhelmed, but it just did not make me do a double take. I was like, okay, I like the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes. I'll say that I liked the first obsessions like a whole lot. And then the next ones I'm just, I've just kind of been like so-so about, like I think that they're good, but it's not anything that necessarily blows me away. I tried her mascara as well. Again, thought it was good, but nothing that I feel like I need to be spending my money on right now when I'm really having a lot of fun focusing on the older products in my collection. And for the fragrance, I have quite a few fragrances. I feel like for a while there, I was buying quite a few. <laughs> so uh, I don't think that I would need that. So I'm gonna skip on that collection. I also see from Cleona Cosmetics, we have the new For the Stained Glass collection, inspired by the beautiful art of stained glass and the vibrant tones. This is gonna be available on August 8th. So this should be available Right, yeah, this it'll already be up as the video goes live. I think I'm supposed to be getting these in PR, I believe. Like, I think I saw an email come through um, from them asking for my address. So I think I might be getting these in PR. If you'd like to see anything with them, definitely do let me know. I don't use single shadows all that often. I've decluttered quite a few of them. I think I only have maybe like nine single shadows in my collection as a whole. So I just don't use the single shadows all that much. I have these really unique, just awesome shadows. Like I see them on other people and I think that it's so cool. It's just not necessarily what I go for a lot. Like I really am trying to embrace what I love and wearing the makeup that I love wearing it, how I want to wear it. And just, I feel like I'm just trying to let go of this external validation for like everything. Not only like the content that I'm making, am I buying enough new makeup to make people on the internet happy am i doing my makeup the way that i think other people will be like oh that's so amazing like i'm just trying to let all of that go and just be myself right now and just like live my own life for me that's the vibes that we are going with these days and i have to say that i feel so much happier i feel lighter i feel happier i just i was writing my gratitude journal the other night and just 
line after line it was like i feel so good i feel so happy i feel so free i feel so released i feel so fabulous i feel so, like I read it back to myself like five different times and i was like crying while reading it and i was like i just feel happy and healthy and good and it's, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. So um, if I get these, I could definitely do maybe some swatches with them or a look with them or like me trying to see if I could do a look with, you know, some really cool shadows like this. But it wouldn't be something that I would necessarily buy myself because I feel like it would end up just kind of sitting in my collection. Um, but if I get it in PR, I would definitely be able to try some out and give you my thoughts. All right, I see a new concealer. I believe this is. Yes, this is the best skin ever concealer this is from the sephora collection a creamy liquid concealer that was made to do it all cover correct and contour it's supposed to be full coverage natural finish 50 shades and it's only going to be 15 dollars. available on august 12th you know i believe that sephora collection had a concealer a few years ago that so many people loved i want to say i feel like i remember katie like talking of this concealer so much and now i'm trying to remember if i ever tried it I want to say that I did, but I can't remember like anything about it, so I probably didn't. Or that it just also shows you how long I've been doing this and how many new makeup releases I have tried and can I remember them all. I mean, when I did my oldest makeup in my collection, I was forgetting makeup products. Like I forgot about Buxom Seychelles. I even forgot about the Too Faced Born This Way concealer that was still sitting in my collection. I was like, wait, what? Ah, ee, ee. So I potentially tried out the one from Sephora, but uh, not 100% sure on that. Does this sound nice? Yes. I kind of want to try it because I do like trying new concealers, but concealers to me is also, I find it really hard to find standouts to me. I have the LYS concealer on. This is one that I do consider a standout. Um, the Lancome Tenti Dull, those are kind of my two go-tos. I pulled out the Too Faced Born This Way concealer again, so I'm wanting you know to give that one a few more shots. But with this being, being only $15, I do think that's pretty awesome. I feel like maybe the concealer could get me to Kate. Again, like I said in my try to get ready with me video, I'm not putting myself on a no buy or even necessarily a low buy. It's just me trying to be more aware of what it is that I am purchasing. I'm just trying to be a little bit more mindful of my purchases and what I'm bringing in because um, my apartment is like bursting with you know everything that I'm trying to cram into this space and it's just very overwhelming. It makes my mind feel very overwhelmed and cluttered. So again, I don't have that thought of like I can't buy makeup right now because I think that to me personally would be almost like more detrimental like i would want to buy everything if i had that thought but i'm gonna add this one to my loves list i would love to know if you would like to see my thoughts on. let's just keep it to the products that i am the most interested in and that i'm really trying to think through do i want this do i want to buy it so you know help me out here in the comments or for on the premiere if there's anything that you are really interested in because that would definitely help me out as well but from summer fridays we have the sheer skin tint this is their first complexion product it's supposed to be lightweight coverage with a natural finish it's going to be in 10 shades and available on august 16th i don't see a price yet on this post i have a feeling it's probably going to be a little bit more expensive because i do have the summer fridays spf which i really enjoy but i like that one was very expensive as well and that was just for an spf so i have a feeling this product is probably going to be pricey but i actually really do like the spf i wear it frequently i brought it to my san diego vacation i'm actually going to hawaii next week which is very spur of the moment i'm filling in for my friend's husband who all of a sudden can't make it so i'm traveling with my girlfriend so she doesn't have to go by herself it happened like really quickly and i was like oh yeah sure no okay i'll go so i'm hopping on a plane it'll be next thursday to head to hawaii um, for a wedding so i'm very excited about that but i'm probably gonna bring my summer fridays spf and like eight other sunscreens with me here the sun's out down there but i think seeing the price will help me out if i just think like it doesn't make sense at the time i might not do it i have some older foundations you know i mentioned the estee lauder double wear the wonder beauty nude illusion and again i have on my wet and wild today i wear the wet and wild tinted hydrator so often it's like do i really need another one mm, mm, mm. the hard-hitting questions and then i also saw this just got posted this is from dr jart new at sephora the premium bb tinted moisturizer with niacinamide and spf 40 it's a multitasking niacinamide powdered cream it's your moisturizer your makeup and your sunscreen in one delivers light buildable coverage with a natural finish in four flexible shades and it's 44 dollars on trend mood and then i went on to tiktok and the very first video was someone applying this and i was like 
That was kind of creepy. But it did look really nice. <laughs> it looked really nice on her skin, and I was like, mm, okay. So this one is $44. It says it's supposed to be like the moisturizer and your makeup, but it also has the SPF 40, which is nice. Like it, it all, all of this sounds like products I would enjoy. This one, the one from Summer Fridays. Uh, I know that I'm definitely, like there's times where I make purchases and I purchase like three blushes, two foundations, two eyeshadow palettes, like that I'm not gonna try to do because that just gets overwhelming to me as well. And then in addition to what I receive in PR, like trying to get the videos up fast and the looks up fast, like a lot of you might know I was struggling with some health stuff recently, including stress levels being really high and my job definitely contributes to the majority of my stress, let's be honest. Um, and I'm trying to take, again, some of that pressure off of me that I let myself feel and just trying to enjoy what I have and not be so like, oh, I have to be so fast, I have to get this up. Like that's, I'm trying not to do that right now. So I don't want to purchase multiple of the same products and then feel like I can't get to them or give them like a solid review or chance. So that one sounds interesting too. I feel like the Summer Fridays is maybe speaking to me a little bit more. I haven't tried a ton from Dr. Jart or really for Summer Fridays. If there's one that catches your eye more than the other, definitely let me know. And then I see from Fenty Beauty, we have the new Ease Drop Lit All Over A Glow Enhancer. It says wear alone or mix with foundation for a skin loving glow, four shades and $34 and I see coming soon. So that's all the information that I have. So what this, what I feel like this is kind of reminding me of is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Wonder Glow and this is the Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. I don't, that's kind of the vibe that I got when I read it. It made me think of this, which I did have in my oldest makeup video because I've had this for many, many years. But I like the product. It's one that for a long time I would wear just the Wonder Glow and then some of my Too Faced Born This Way concealer and like maybe some powder, but like I would be good to go. And I thought that was a really pretty look. So I don't know, something like this, I, I feel like maybe also it could be somewhat similar to the e.l.f. like Halo Glow that came out, which is supposed to be similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Fit. Filter. I feel like we're seeing a little bit of those releases right now so that's where my mind went to but again like I said I have this one and I actually do want to dig back into it so the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow I'm just gonna be playing with that so I'm gonna skip over this one from Fenty. From Kelly Ray I see the So Blown Blurring Collagen Peptide Primer Lightweight Ultra Blurring Primer with Collagen Peptides to Moisturize and Nourish Skin for a matte finish. This is gonna be available on August 12th you know sounds like it does really nice things for the skin i have plenty of primers it's so funny to me i mentioned the milk hydro grip let me pull it i mentioned the milk hydro grip okay i will say i feel like on camera it shows up a lot darker than it actually is like i'm looking at it right here and it's it's like that light green color that how it normally released. I'm in the chat section of my oldest makeup and so many people are like, why does it look like that? And I was like, it's always looked like that. I can see though on camera, it definitely looks different than in person. So that's kind of funny to me. But I definitely have old, old primers in my collection that I can be using, so I'm gonna skip on that Lip one. Tinted is coming out with their new Hue Beam Blushing Bronzer Duo. It includes one blush, two bronzers, presented in a beautiful gradient finish. And it's going to be $38, I see coming soon to the website and also Ulta. First glance, it kind of reminded me a little bit of the Makeup by Mario and the Skin Perfector with like the powder, the highlighter, and the bronzer. Also kind of gave me a little bit of like Bare Mineral vibes when they came out with their bronzers, I believe is what they call them, their mixture of a blush and a bronzer. To me, these products just really are my favorite. Like I was really excited about the ones from Estee Lauder, or am I, no, but did I say Estee Lauder? Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals, I was really, ex see, I get myself mixed up all the time. I was really excited to try those and I was just kind of like meh about them. So it's really pretty, like the looks of it is really beautiful. It's just not a product that I tend to love myself. From About Face Beauty, I see some Cheek Freaks. We have 10 shades of blush balms in an ultra creamy lightweight formula will be available August 10th. These are definitely super cute, like the packaging on these, very cute. We have more of the blush balm. I haven't tried anything from About Face. I did, with that's Halsey's brand, and she's also launching AF94, which I got a PR package for. Again, the mascara is what I'm wearing today. So I was a little bit surprised to receive that. It's like the more affordable version of About Face, but I am going to be ranking my all of my single blushes that's coming next in my ranking series 
and I'm hoping to be able to film that today and we got a lot of blushes coming your way. A lot of blushes coming your way. The ranking series is coming at a really good time to remind me how much I actually own in each category, so I'm gonna skip on these. One Size has released these new uh, liquid eyeshadows. So, so these are $22, I'm looking at them on the Sephora site. Ultra Smooth Creamy Matte Eyeshadow to quickly achieve a smoky eye look. Again, I don't use single shadows all that often anymore, but today I did use I did use an eye base from Sigma along with the Soft Glam Palette, and this is in Persuade. Again, mentioned these in my oldest makeup video. I've had these for like five years or something. It's been a, like these might have came in my first PR package that Sigma ever sent me. So I've had those for a while, so I'm going to get some more use out of them. I just, I really just don't reach for these a lot. And then some more lip products. I feel like maybe I touched about this one, but Kylie Jenner has some lip product trios for her birthday celebration. So we have three high shine glosses and three lip crayons. These are going to be available August 10th. I feel like I touched maybe on the glosses, but now there's also this lip trio of the crayons also. I just don't, I just... Kylie Cosmetics just doesn't intrigue me, so I don't tend to purchase much from them, haven't in a really long time. So I'm going to skip on those. From Byredo, these are limited edition flavored lip balms. Smooth, gliding, and genderless. With a transparent and semi-matte finish, they come housed in Byredo's signature curvy linear, curvy linear? Metal casing that seals with a satisfying magnetic click. Oh, I know about satisfying clicks, okay? Hmm. And three pastel metallic shades, and these are going to be $50 each. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that. Um, I love lip balms as much as the next girl. I really do. I love lip masks. I love lip balms. I love lip treatments. I love, I, like, all of that is great. I will say the picture does make me feel a little trippy. I feel like I get a little car sick when I look at the pictures with these, like, curved things. I don't know if they would make me feel nauseous and, and, and car sick if I had them in my collection. I'm not sure, but the picture is, like, I'm trying to, like, focus now on something else. Uh, but I also just really don't want to pay $50 for a lip balm right now. That's just, that's not my energy at this moment. Could be my energy in two weeks, you know? Just like what I said with my, am I trying to get ready with me? It's like, I'm feeling really overwhelmed right now. In one month, I'd be, I might be like, nah, I'm good. Let's buy it all. So next month, I, may, I might be like, you know what? I cannot refuse a $50 lip balm. We all change. We can change our minds. It's all good. And it's just makeup. It's not that deep. But right now, it's going to be a no for me. Uh, another primer I see, this is from Essence. This is their... It says, interesting product, one, two, freeze, gel to sorbet primer, a primer with texture changing. It's a gel-like texture at room temperature, but, wait, there's more. For a few hours, it turns into a sorbet-like consistency for a fresh kick on the clean face. Coming soon to the website and retailers. Honestly, if I put this in my freezer and then I open it up and it looks like sorbet, like, there's a chance I might eat it because I think it's ice cream-like, so that would be weird. Uh, you know, it's interesting. I like seeing something new i like seeing something a little bit unique do i feel like i have to have a primer like this though like i it's just one of those things where i personally don't feel like it's missing in my collection you know you definitely might or you might let, like love the cooling effect when i was doing the chatting with the old makeup video that went up i was doing my ice roller so like i get a primer that would feel really good i just don't feel like i'm personally missing that right now so I'm going to pass. A couple new makeup releases on hotfire.makeup as well. Lime Crime is going to be launching their new electric slide eyeshadow and brush stick. Six rainbow shades and matte metallic finishes. Dual ended, ultra versatile. These are going to be $14 each. Cool, but I'm, I'm not going to use a product like this. Again, I just don't go for those singles a whole lot. You know, they got the brush on them. Cool. Sounds like you can do a lot with them, but I'm not going to be using them. And then also She Glam Official has launched their new Welcome to Our Playground collection. It includes a water activated shadow palette for $6.99, the slip and slide gloss for $4.49, there's a multi-function color stick for $4.99 in six shades, and the Tag Your It brush set for $6.99. Welcome to Our Playground collection set is going to retail for $48.99. I feel like people are going to be wondering, Samantha... Do you know what a playground is? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing with you. Um, that's cute. You know, definitely has some of like my childhood vibes, like a slip and slide. Also, okay, let me just say, I had a slip and slide at my high school graduation party because slip and slides are the bomb. So I love me a good slip and slide moment. The merry-go-round, yes, I've thrown up multiple times after being on a merry-go-round. You know, all the great things. Uh, tag, I'm excellent at playing tag because I'm super fast. So very familiar with the vibes of this collection, but do I need anything? 
definitely not. Like it's cute, like there's a little six pan shadow, but it's like the water activate it. Like I'm definitely not gonna water activate my shadows, but I'm just being honest with you. Um, but it's cute, it's cute. Gives me childhood vibes, but I'm not gonna buy it. We finally got to see what Auric is releasing next, but I'm also not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> I already knew. <laughs> I already knew what it was, so I was very excited about that. Um, Sam Ravendahl messaged me a while, this was a while ago that she messaged me to tell me that the brand was coming out with false lashes, so I've just been like waiting and waiting and waiting for it. And I will say I was a little bit thrown off when I first saw the, like the first sneak peek promo and I was like, huh, but then I was like, no, there's, de that makes sense. Like there's, there definitely can be lashes in there. And uh, yes, we have lashes coming from Auric. We have introducing Clouded, the everyday fits any look lash. These lashes, the Velvet Flutter Lash Collection launches August 15th at 9 a.m. at PDT on Auric Cosmetics and it is going to be uh, $30 USD. I have gotten PR from Auric. I really, really hope that I get the lashes. I am not a huge, huge lash wearer, but I will say I've been wearing the Bright Lashes, which is Angela Bright's brand, and I've been really enjoying hers. Basically, anytime I've been wearing lashes recently, those are what I've been wearing. And every once in a while, I just want a lash to kind of bump up the look a little bit, and I would love to try these. I looked at them in the photo, and then I looked at them, like the photo like on the bottle, and I think that I would really enjoy a pair like this. $30, I'm just, you know, I'm kind of like, ah, oh, like how much money am I wanting to be spending right now, especially on something that I might not get a lot of use out of. But at the same time, I feel like lashes are a little bit easier for me to, I don't know if I wanna say cave to, because when I get into a lash wearing kick, I get into that kick and I will use the lashes, you know, 15, 20 times and then be like, okay, that pair is good. Like lashes is something I actually go through. It's not an eyeshadow palette. It's not a foundation. It's not a lipstick. Like uh, I would say lashes and like brow pencils, like those I actually go through and then repurchase again. So if I don't get these in PR, I might purchase them anyways. I really, like, I look up to Samantha Ravindel a lot as a businesswoman, as a YouTuber. Um, she inspires me a lot, and I really have enjoyed a lot from her brand. Might end up getting me some of those. But if I do get them in PR, you'll definitely see me wearing them right away. And then some exciting news to share. I saw this morning that my friend Kelly Gooch has collabed with Sigma Beauty on her own favorite set. So congratulations to Kelly. So we have the Kelly Gooch favorite set. This is... $60 and it is a $75 value and everything that is included in here we have the the mini enchanted palette so this is the seven pan eyeshadow palette the EO6 wing liner brush not shocked at all to see that one the E24 diffuse diffused blend brush and the E40 tapered blending old school favorite so congratulations to Kelly this is available now on the Sigma Beauty website so I will have that link down below uh, I just actually mentioned the mini enchanted in my last ranking all the palettes that I tried in July. I really enjoy the Sigma palettes. Obviously Sigma brushes are just amazing and I think she chose out some really good ones. So Kelly's favorite set is available now and you can get that at sigmabeauty.com. I did see that KVD Beauty is coming out with a new everlasting liquid lipstick formula. Soft matte finish, comfortable, transfer resistant, 21 shades. It says with our all time favorite shades, they just now have new names after poison flowers. So these are gonna be $22 each and launching on August 21st at Sephora and Ulta. I can definitely remember when the KVD lipsticks were all of the rage. I believe it was, wasn't it Lolita that was all kinds of having a moment. So now the new names are named after poison flowers, which that's 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 fabulous, that's fantastic. It's funny because I've been saying that I feel like liquid lipsticks are really making a comeback. So it's interesting to see the new names, new formulas for these coming. I don't think that I need them though. And then I think we just have some skincare to finish off from Glow Recipe. I see the new Watermelon Baby, the Watermelon Glow AHA Night Treatments. It's inspired by the original Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. This one is a powerful overnight resurfacing mask to gently exfoliate, hydrate, visibly brighten. It's going to be $40 coming soon to Sephora. My skin does not agree with watermelon, so unfortunately, I know a lot of people really enjoyed these products from uh, Glow Recipe, but it is just not something that my skin can handle, so I'm going to pass on that. I'm just gonna look over quickly. I feel like that is going to be everything for this week. So there's definitely a few products in here that I have my eye on that I'm really thinking about getting. Um, the Auric, the Summer Fridays, maybe that Dr. Jart, the Sephora concealer. Those were my top ones out of this week that I am most interested in and that I feel like I would actually get 
some use out of. So definitely let me know what you think in the comments because um, that obviously always helps me out every single week. But I don't feel like this week was too bad. I don't think it was anything that was too uh, shattering to my personal goals that I have going on right now. But again, as we get closer to holiday time, I think it's going to definitely become a little bit trickier. But I hope you enjoyed it seeing this Will I Buy It for this week. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.